and welcome to another episode of Biology. And today we're going to continue our discussion on transport system. And specifically, we're going to be looking at the lymph and the lymphatic system. A somewhat very simple topic, but can be confusing for a lot of students. I'm going to make try my best to make it as easy as possible for you to understand. All right? Do not forget that this series of episodes, these tutorials, they're all brought to you free for free by the O3 School Jam CBT practice application. If you have made your decision to write your jam at once, go to Play Store, download the application, okay, and what start immediately. We'll talk about the app in a moment, but let us see a jam pass question from the O3 School Jam CBT practice app. It's a 2019 question number 10, 2019 number 10 on the lymph and the lymphatic system. Uh, it says, which of the following describes the function of the lymph? Which of the following describes the function of the lymph? A says temperature regulation. B says production of antibodies. C says engulfing. D says body defense. Okay, so we'll come back to these uh, questions and many more about the lymph and the lymphatic system at the end of the class and not before, because at all three schools, we pride ourselves in giving you value first. Let us teach you first, then after you have known, answering questions will be the least of your problem. Okay, so please ensure you go to Play Store, download the application. All right, and of course, the app has all you need. That's all the past questions for all the subjects. Okay, has a question search just like the way we search for this question. You can go to a particular subject, search for a topic that you have read, and the question that Jamba said on that topic will come out for you to answer. That's the question search feature. Then also we have the classroom on the app. The classroom has lecture notes structured according to the Jam syllabus. Okay, so once you are on the classroom, you can study your lecture notes even without your textbooks because the app is fully loaded for that. And likewise, there's a weekly mock challenge, a UTME challenge on the application. You come to the app, you, com you compete with all students that are writing Jam for this year. Okay, on that application, you, on that uh, future, you get used to Jam pass question, Jam likely exam question. You will see your score released every Saturday. So you will not be scared when they say Jam don't release result because it's something you have been consistently were doing. Okay, series of mock exams every Saturday. Okay, and a couple of other amazing features as you are seeing right now on the screen. Okay, so please ensure you download the application and activate it. Activation, okay, is less than the price of rice and chicken in a good restaurant. Don't be stingy to yourself. This is your future, okay? Passing your jam is the first step to your admission, so do not play with it. All right, if you want to activate your app, just send a message to this number on WhatsApp. Say, sir, I want to activate my app. Okay, if you want to download for your laptop, say, sir, I want to download for my laptop. Send me the link. The link to download for laptop is different from the phone, okay? So if you want, if you want to download for your Android phones, go to Play Store, all right? And of course, uh, let us go to the lymph and lymphatic system. All right, so for, for us to understand lymph and lymphatic system, just know that we're going to dwell more on the capillaries. On capillaries, okay? All right, so uh, this is where we're going to start our discussion from. All right, we we'll know what the capillaries are. Okay, they connect the veins and what? And the arteries, okay? And of course, uh, they also help, help in what? In delivering nutrients to different parts of, of our body cells, okay? And a lot of what other what, uh, uh, wonderful what function that the world that they perform, they keep the, what, the organs of the body working perfectly, all right? So, uh, um, of course, we say the capillaries, they are the smallest and the thinnest vessels that are only one single cell thick. We talked about this in the, in the previous class. So capillaries, okay, sorry, they are what? They are the smallest, Okay, and thinnest vessels. Okay, which are only what one single cell thick. We talked about this in the previous classes. Okay, so that is the capillaries. They are what the smallest and thinnest vessels, which are what only one single cell thick, and they act as a connection between the the veins and what and the arteries in our body. Okay, so like I've mentioned, some of the usefulness of the capillaries. Capillaries are very important. Okay, in the body, but they have a problem. Okay, they have what a small problem. Capillaries, they are leaky. Okay, they are leaky. L e a k y. 
they they leak waiting no good okay so capillaries are leaky that is the only problem and now that they have that problem how is this what's useful how is this beneficial okay to what to our body or system okay that's what now introduces us so to the lymph and the lymphatic what system all right so now capillaries they are what they are leaky let me let me explain it with uh, with an illustration okay for example let's say you are, you, you build your house and when you build your house you know uh, and most times, if you don't stay in the house, you don't know, you don't know some of the errors in the house. Okay, so once you make the house a living house and you stay in it consistently, it gets to a point that what you see some faults, some errors, and you try to modify those things. Okay, let's say you go to you move into your house. By God's grace, all of you will have your houses uh, in the future in Jesus' name. Okay, so you move into your house and then you discover that the roof is one part of the uh, of the roof when rain was falling was dropping water. Okay, water was what was dropping from one part of the wall from the roof. Okay, so then you call your engineer and say, engineer, my my roof is leaky. Okay, and water is dropping from a, from a particular section of my roof. Okay, then of course the engineer will come around. Right? But before the engineer comes, what will you do? Will you allow that leak to what to, to flood? Let's say it's your parlor. You will discover it in your living room. Will you allow that water, that drop, to fill your full living room? No. What will you do? Okay. Normal thing, you carry a bucket, Abby, you go and put it under that place that is dropping water. Okay, once you drop it, what under there, the water will be dropping what into the bucket. All right, let's say when rain stops, you can carry that water and use it for what we can use it to go and flush toilet because it's not like a perfectly clean water, so you cannot drink it. Okay, some of you purify it. All right, okay, you can even purify the water and drink it. Okay, you can carry the water and what and use to flush toilet. You can carry the water and what to wash clothes. You can carry the water to do what you can throw the water. If anything you want to do, you can throw, you can do the water. All right, that is exactly how capillaries are. Capillaries, they are leaky. Okay, they are leaky. All right, so please, if you have not liked this video as you are watching, what you are doing is very, very wrong. Okay, as you are watching, now, you can click, you can go click on that like button. Okay, if you have not shared our video, what you are doing is even more evil because sharing our video will give this video more visibilities and more students will get in touch and connect with us to learn like you are learning right now. And also, if you are not subscribing to this channel, if you are not following me on Facebook or following on TikTok, okay, what you are doing is what is wicked. Please try. As much as possible to follow, to share, to like, to subscribe. All right, and of course, the Lord will bless you, okay, and keep you and cause His face to shine upon you. All right, so now, capillaries, they are what they are leaky, okay, they are what they are leaky, okay. Let's say we have what's our capillaries like this, okay, our capillaries like this, they are leaky, okay, they may be what some some more some leaks, okay, now what now capillaries, okay, okay, this point, this point, this point, they are what, let's say they are what they are our leaking points. Okay, so capillaries, they are what? They are leaky. But what leaks out of the capillary? What leaks out of the capillary? Like from our roof, we say if our roof is leaky, maybe water is what is leaking out. What leaks out of our capillary? What leaks out, uh, uh, what leaks out is what? It's plasma. Take note, it's our blood plasma and then what? Your WBCs, okay? Your white blood cells. You want to call what? Leukocytes. Okay, so what leaks out of the capillaries are what? Uh, the plasma and what? And the white blood cells. These are what, what, what leaks out of what of the capillary. And um, as they leak out, why can they even leak out? The reason why they can leak out is because the white blood cells, remember we talk about the white blood cells? Okay, we talk about the white blood cells, we say that what the shape of the white blood cells is what? It's amoeboid. Okay, amoeboid. Okay, amoeba. Amoeboid. Okay, we say that well, they are amoeboid in shape. They do not have what a fixed shape. Okay, so that means they can easily what they can easily what go out. Okay, they can take what come out from what from this one from this blood capillaries. All right. Of course, the plasma also they do not have a definite shape. Okay, so that means what they take the shape of what of the container that, that they are in. All right. So that means they can easily what also leak out. The reason why they are able to leak out because of their shapes. All right, so the plasma being the WBCs will leak out of the world, we leak out of, of the capillaries, and then they will now what go and surround our cells. Okay, let's say this is our cells. All right, it's our cells. All right, so the blood capillary, the plasma and the WBCs will this small small one, they are this small small one, they'll go and what and surround our cells. They will surround our cells. Okay, and of course, because of what some of these what are uh, plasma and WBCs, they are outside the cell, okay? We say they are what? They are extracellular. Extracellular. Okay? And because they are fluids, okay? We say they are what? Extracellular what fluids. 
Okay, why some are within the cell? Okay, some are some stay within the cell, some are outside the cell, some are within the cell. The one that are within the cell will say they are what intracellular. Intracellular, okay. So, and because there are fluids, also we say they are what intracellular, what fluid, okay. But so that we will not confuse them between what we will not confuse extracellular or intracellular, we say all of them together that what they are called tissue fluids. Tissue fluids, okay. Please take note of that, all right. So, we say that what the Plasma and the WBCs, they leak out from the blood capillaries and then what? They surround the cell, okay? I would say because some of them are outside the cell, they are extracellular fluids. Some are within the cell, they are intracellular fluids. And together, I would say they are what? They are tissue fluids. Please take note of that first step. Are you together? All right. Now, we cannot just leave what this what, uh, fluid, okay? This tissue fluid, which is now surrounding the cell, to just remain there. We cannot just leave them there, okay? We have to what? Collect them, okay? They have oozed out from what? From these gaps, okay? They are surrounding the cell. It is not possible that we just will leave it there. It's just like I said, after you have collected the water from what? From, the, from a roofing leak, okay? You can use to flush what? The toilet, you can use to wash clothes, you can use to wash plates, you can use to do whatever you want to do, okay? So also, we have to what? We cannot leave what this what WBCs and what and these plasmas to be hanging around what it says like this. We have to collect them. Okay, so it is being collected and then it is poured into a separate channel. Okay, it is being collected. It is being collected and then it is being poured into a separate a separate channel. Okay, a separate channel called what the lymphatic vessel. The lymphatic vessel. All right, please take note of all of that. All right, so now this fluid, okay, is being collected and then it's being poured into a separate what, channel that we call what the lymphatic what vessel. Okay, and then of course the fluid, the fluid that is being collected, the fluid that is being collected that is now taken to this lymphatic vessel is the one we now call the what the lymph, the lymph. The lymph. Okay, please take note of that. That's where our lymph and the lymphatic system comes what into what play. All right. So we collect the fluid, we pour them into a separate channel called the lymphatic vessel. Then the fluid itself, all right, is what we call what the lymph. Okay, and that means what the lymph what has the lymph has what a lot of what uh, a lot of components. Okay, so the component of the lymph, we, the, 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 of course, there will be water in the component because this will be fluid. All right, there will be nutrients. Okay, there will also will be what be antibodies. Okay, there, there are antibodies in what in the lymph because what white blood cells, white blood cells, what help our body to fight against what diseases. So, so there are antibodies inside what inside the lymph as a component of the lymph. Okay, so the component of the lymph is actually what ninety four percent water, ninety four percent water. All right, then we also have what nutrients. We have nutrients. Okay, we also have what uh, have what WBCs. Okay, we have what antibodies. All right, they are supposed to want to fight against what diseases. Okay, so these are also what components of what of the lymph. Okay, are you together there? All right, so that is what uh, the lymph and the lymphatic system what is. All right, so now the lymph, the lymph, what goes into the lymphatic what vessel. Okay, so then what happens? The lymphatic vessel, lymphatic vessel. Okay, goes and what and drains into what collecting what dots into the two subclavian veins into what the two subclavian veins subclavian veins into the two subclavian veins. Okay, the lymphatic vessel goes and what drains. Okay, into what into the collecting dot. Okay, into the two subclavian what veins. That the component, the content, which is what the what the leaf, the leaf is inside the lymphatic vessel. All right, so it goes and then it drains into collecting dots in the two in the two subclavian what veins. These subclavian veins they join together to now form what the superior superior vena cava. We talk about the superior vena cava, okay? When we talk about what the heart, okay? So the superior cava, vena cava that what that collect blood from the upper part of what of the what, of the body, okay? Of, of of the upper part of what of the heart. Sorry, it collects blood from the upper part of the heart and pours into the what into the right auricle, okay, or the right what atrium, right? So that is what our what the superior vena cava comes to play. It's from the lymphatic system, all right? So please understand, and you see that uh, if I be following all our videos, all our episodes, you see that what all of them what they connect one way 
way or the other, making it very, very interesting, okay? So that is what happens, okay? So that's how the lymphatic system comes out to play, all right? So you know the lymph, the lymph what is the fluid, okay? Is the fluid that's what that drains or oozes out from what from the capillaries, okay? The lymphatic vessel is what carries what the component of what of this lymph carries this lymph to what to 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 go and drain to what into the into the uh, superior or vena cava, okay? To form what that what that large vein and then what drains its content into what into the superior vena what cover, all right? So please understand what all of these very easy, very easy. They all come together. To what to make it for an interesting what read. All right. So now, uh, what do we do? Let us let us really see a difference between what the blood. What difference between blood and this what lymphatic and this lymph? Blood and lymph. What difference between blood and lymph? Let us really see the difference between the blood and the lymph. The difference between the blood and the lymph. Difference between blood and lymph. Okay, so number one, num uh, the blood color, in terms of color, the blood is what? It's red. Let's just say in terms of color, the blood is red. The lymph is what's colorless. Okay, the lymph is what is colorless. All right, please take note of that. All right, then of course, uh, some people say it's transparent, right? It's transparent fluid. Okay, so either if you see transparent or if you see colorless, all right, that works. Then also, uh, movement, what does it move through? The blood moves through what blood vessels? The blood moves what through blood vessels, okay. Why the lymph moves through what the lymphatic vessel, okay. Then, what's more, right? Um, uh, uh, the lymph, what's the function of what of the blood? The blood will transport oxygen, transport oxygen that's O2, we transport CO2, transport what nutrients. All right. Okay, but the lymph, what would transport? I didn't tell you the function of the lymph. The lymph, the function of the lymph is to transport absorbed or digested fats. Okay, that's the function of the lymph to transport digested, absorbed, to transport absorbed or digested fats. Okay, so that's the function of what of the lymph. All right. So please. Take note of what of all of this, okay? So also we'll talk about the lymph having what antibodies, all right? Having what antibodies able to fight against what disease because of what or the white blood cells that leak out from what from the capillaries. So we'll go to the O2 school jump up, answer questions, and we'll be out of here in a moment. Let's see 1999 number 22. They say the lymphatic system of mammals rejoins the blood circulatory system at the the lymphatic system of mammals. Rejoins the blood circulatory system at the ACD hepatic vein, no? BC at the subclavian vein, yes, okay? So the lymphatic system, what joins, it, it what it drains what itself, okay? It drains into collecting dots in the two subclavian veins, that's what we talk about, in the two subclavian veins, which now what? Those subclavian veins now form, now what? Join together to form what? The superior vena cover, okay? So the lymphatic system of mammals rejoins the blood circulatory system at the subclavian vein. B say the renal vein, D say the common iliac vein. Correct answer is what? Option B, the subclavian vein. 2019 number 10 say which of the following describe the function of the lymph? Function of the lymph. A says temperature regulation. No. B say production of antibodies. Yes, okay? Production of antibodies. C says engulfing. This is a body defense. B, production of what? Of antibodies. That's the function, one of the major functions okay, of what? Of the lymph. Okay? Right? Also, what? Else in the transport of absorbed or what digestible fats. Now, uh, 2017, number 15 says the fluid that bats all cells of the body is called the fluid that bats all cells. Okay? That bats all cells of the body. Correctly answered what's option D, the lymph. A say fibrinogen, B say plasma, C say blood, D says what lymph. It is what the lymph that bats all cells of the body. Okay, so now uh, take 2011 number 15 as your assignment. 2011 number 15 as what as your assignment. Okay, drop the answer in the comment section. Please drop comment, drop comment. Okay, drop comment. All right, uh, whatever part you do not understand, ask in the comment section also, and then we will also come to the comment section to answer. All right, so there are so many more questions on this application. Download the app, start practicing immediately, and you see yourself smiling at the top. See you there.